to the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. My name is Ainsley Erzin, and I'm writing to you concerning comments in the Cedar Rapids Gazette that the union needs guidance regarding transgender athletes in sports. This summer, I won the girls' 800-meter high school national championship in track and broke the Iowa state record. It was such an honor to represent my state as the first Iowa female high school runner to win a national track title, and so humbling to have my name listed among such talented women as Shelby Houlihan and Joy Ripslinger. I believe this is a prime example of some of my most core beliefs, that if you work hard and put your faith in the Lord, he can and will accomplish things within you that you could never dream of on your own. That being said, my time of 206.52, the time that made me the fastest Iowa high school female 800 runner of all time, the time that earned me the title of national champion, was easily beat by 85 high school boys at the 2021 Iowa high school state track meet alone. 85. Just in our small state of Iowa. The results of the 2021 Drake Relays proved to be no different as the last male runner came through the line in a time of 203. That same year, a time of 213 was enough to make me the 800-meter Drake champion. The slowest boy was easily 10 seconds faster than the first-place girl. But I don't need to explain this to you. Iowa track officials already know there are huge biological differences between boys and girls. Why else would the 2021 girls' blue standard, the automatic qualifying time for the Drake Relays, have been 216, while the boys were set 20 seconds faster at 156. These numbers should end any dispute. There is no explanation for the performance gap except for biological differences. Iowa athletic unions already have all these numbers. In fact, it's on their own websites that I was able to find them myself. But here we are with the IGH SAU, which exists to protect girls sports, asking for advice. So I'll go on. Next year, I'll be attending the University of, of Arkansas to continue both my track and soccer careers. This is a school known for its history of success in track and field, both on the men's and women's sides. The women's 800-meter school record, 201.61. For men, 144.97. The women's 200-meter record, 22.40. Men's, 19.89. Women's 5,000. 1525.10 men's 1312.74. The list goes on and on. Bottom line, an elite male college runner will be an elite female college runner every single time. But this issue is bigger than me and it's bigger than school sports. So let's take a look at some of the best in the world. Cindy McLaughlin won the gold in the 400 meter hurdles at the Tokyo Olympic gold medalist and set the world record 51.46. In the men's Olympic preliminaries of the 400-meter hurdles, 34 of the 36 men ran faster than McLaughlin's world record time. Eight high school boys in 2021 ran times faster than McLaughlin's record. Yes, you read that right. High schoolers. Besting the greatest female 400-meter hurdler to ever step foot on the track. Need some examples outside of track and field? Serena Williams is arguably the best female athlete of all time in any sport. But when questioned on how she would feel about taking on her male counterparts, her answer was brutally honest. Men's tennis and women's tennis are almost two different sports. If I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0 in five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes. The men are a lot faster. They serve harder. They hit harder. I love to play women's tennis, and I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. This from the greatest female tennis player of all time. At least Williams gets it. Let's take a look at the U.S. women's national soccer team. In 2017, the U.S. WNT, the most decorated team in the world with four Olympic gold medals and four World Cup championship titles, played a boys under 15 FC Dallas team to prepare for a game against Russia. The result, a 5-2 win for the group of 14 and 15-year-old boys, a loss for the best group of women in the world. I'm not saying any of this to invalidate other female athletes. In fact, my intentions are the opposite. Throughout my life, I played multiple sports and met a countless number of amazing girls, determined, hardworking girls with huge goals and big dreams for the future. Girls who put their faith in God and trust that he will reward their efforts. Girls who rely on people like you at the IGH 
SAU to protect the sports they love and the things they aspire to achieve. If you try to ignore biological differences, I guarantee there will be nothing left of women's sports. There will be no Sydney McLaughlin's, no Serena Williams, no Julie Ertz, and no Abby Wambachs. So here I am writing to you, explaining why female sports need to be protected and preserved. But in all honesty, I shouldn't have to. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union was created to protect the rights and best interests of female athletes. Don't just stand by and let what's happening in other places happen here. Don't force more girls like Selena Sewell, a female high school runner in Connecticut, to have to defend her rights alone as her athletic union lets athletes with unfair advantage climb into blocks next to her. Stop asking others to do your job for you and be bold enough and brave enough to stand up for the hundreds of girls who rely on you to be able to continue what they do and love. We're counting on you. That was a powerful letter letter written in the Des Moines Register. It was published February 3rd of 2022 by Angel Lee Erzin, an extremely brave, extremely brave high school athlete from Iowa, national champion in the 800 meter, and the bravery of her to write this in the face of everything that's going on in the world should mean a lot to everybody. Please, if you want to protect, if you think you are for women's rights and want to protect women, this is a way to start. This is not a shot at the trans community, but this is a way to protect women and doing what they do and girls and doing what they do and making their sports safe. Take what you want out of this. If you want to take nothing out of it, take nothing. If you think that she's wrong, that's okay to think she's wrong. But if you think that she's right, realize that a girl 17, maybe 18 had the courage to stand up for what she believes, put it out in the world and is standing by how she believes. This was published on the 3rd of February. So a little bit ago, but I thought it was important. I thought it was real important. Thanks for listening, everybody.